Hey what's up guys, Lewis here with Shutterstock Tutorials and today we're going to be talking about 5 needed accessories that you should have for your camera but likely don't. Alright guys, so these recommendations, they're not necessarily going to be life changers, it's not going to change a filmmaking game, nor are they unheard of tools, but I think that when you do finally buy them, uh, it's because you've needed them out of shoot and it's too late, so you want to be prepared for next time. So the first one is the DeWitt's cleaning brush. Now I assure you, this looks like a shaving brush, but it's very much not, and given how hard the bristles are, you don't necessarily want to be using this uh, to shave. Uh, these bristles are from Bother, and as a result, are a lot firmer and springier, perfect for cleaning the lens and camera. If you've caught at least two of my tutorials, you'll see that I'm usually somewhere in nature. And as a result, there's lots of room to get the lens and camera either wet, sandy, or dirty. Even when careful, I'll find that my gear still picks up small bits of dirt. The problem is cleaning this sufficiently. I obviously don't want to use a lens brush and cloths don't seem to do much. Well, the DeWitt cleaning brush is the perfect tool for this. And as the brush has firmer and springier bristles, it's the perfect tool to get sand and dirt out from those hard to reach places, like the rubber grooves on the lens for the focus and zoom ring. Additionally, you'll find that the tips are feathered, so they're not as firm and as tough on the tip of the brush. So it's not going to scratch your body or scratch your uh, lens wherever you're using the brush. Now, for the next recommendation, this is a plastic bag filled with all the Allen keys and various tools I need to disassemble and assemble the C300 Mark III. And if I'm using my Blackmagic cameras with the cage, I'll usually attach this small rig handle. Uh, I've had to sellotape this Allen key to the handle so I don't lose that. And overall, it's too much Allen keys, too many tools uh, that could be lost and ruin the day. So I recommend in picking up a small rig, all in one tool set specifically designed for cameras. Of course, the very first thought you may have is why not just use a pocket knife or Swiss Army knife? Well, unlike a pocket knife, every single tool on the small rig offering is specifically for filmmaking, for cameras. It comes with four Allen wrenches, which are typically used for the cage and accessory assemble, one flat screwdriver, perfect for tripod nuts, one Phillips screwdriver for when normal screws are used, and one Torx T25 driver for when you need to remove the factory panels of a camera. This pretty much covers the need of every shooting scenario. And the retractable flat screw bit, incredibly useful. I don't know how many times I've had to ask someone for a penny while on a shoot so I can undo the tripod mount or go searching for my car keys for that flat surface. Uh, don't have to worry about that ever again with this. And additionally, on this model in particular, it has an area for storing screws. So if you're swapping over your top handle or your side handle, instead of leaving those screws in your pocket with the risk of them getting lost, put them into the tool kit put that into your pocket, nice and safe. Okay, so back home for the next two uh, accessory recommendations because they're usually used in interior locations more so than outside. And the first is called a jerk stopper. Now, increasingly, we're adding more and more cables to our cameras, right? Whether that's HDMI for an external monitor, DC power going in, tethered shooting, USB storage, wherever it may be. And increasingly, we run the risk of, especially for longer cables, of stepping on the wire when the camera's up on the tripod. Now you might think that the inherent issue with that is yanking the cable out mid-shoot, losing power or connectivity to the monitor, wherever it may be. But in fact, you run greater risk of when you stamp on the cable and you bring the cable down instead of it going straight out, it can run the risk of damaging the connection port. And this isn't an easy fix and usually will result in you having to send your camera in for repair. To set this up, you simply attach the safety wire to the camera's eyelet, then detach the outer segment and rest the cable inside. You now want to pull the jerk stopper so the wire is completely tense. Slide the outer segment back on and click in as far as you can. Now, if you yank the cable, you pull the camera opposed to pulling the cable out and damaging the port. Okay, so the next accessory that I find incredibly useful when you're shooting at a location which isn't your property is one of these. Can I even show it in its entirety because it's so large? So look, kind of, possibly, 
So this is an oversized mouse mat and I find it incredibly useful for when you're at a location, you want that designated clean area because you can vacuum these, you can uh, wipe them down with a damp cloth. So if you're at a location which is uh, less than immaculate conditions and you're worried about sensor uh, dust going into the sensor or whatever it may be, whip out the mat, put it onto the surface and then you can swap over and assemble all your gear in a clean environment. Now guys, you can get like branded work mats from the camera re uh, retailers and the, the online outlets. They're essentially the same thing. It's just a, an overly large mouse mat with the company logo on. You don't need to pay all that money for those things. Just get like a cheap third party, uh, overly large mouse mat from Amazon or whatever it may be and you'll be set to go. Okay, well, I think that the first four recommendations might have been sleeper hits that you might not have necessarily thought about or known about. Uh, the next one, a little bit more common, and that's a hard case for your media storage. Now, from all the different cameras I've owned, uh, they often come with different forms of media recording, whether that's CF Express, uh, CFast, SD, whatever it may be. And the last thing I wanna be in is the position of tearing the office apart while I'm trying to find that specific card, because I think for many of us, we just usually stick it on the shelf, pull it off when we need it, they end up getting lost. So now you can keep everything in this hard case. It holds up to nine different cards, every single format you can think of from micro SD all the way up to CFast, CF Express. Uh, and it is uh, just like a Pelican case. Nothing is damaging these cards. So you can plop it in your pocket and keep it nice and safe. However, I guess you do run the risk or if you, if you lose this, all your eggs are in one basket, you might be in a little bit of a pickle. All right, guys, so they have been my five recommendations. This has been Lewis with Shutterstock Tutorials, and I will catch you guys next time.